Hi, uh, welcome to part eight of Introduction to DMX Lighting. This one is going to talk about sound to light. Uh, in this case, what we're going to use is sound is going to control the lights. Uh, we're going to use the uh, Behringer Eurolight LC2412 DMX console and its sound to light function. Other DMX consoles will operate similarly. The sound to light function is enabled by pressing the sound to light key highlighted in red over here. So we do that and we'll get the sound coming in. Uh, line level mono audio is brought into the council via a quarter inch mono jack located at the back of the council. And uh, this council will automatically control the level. Uh, what we do is we use scenes. So what we have is four faders. Uh, their fader is number 9, 12, uh, 10, 11, and 12. And uh, the first fader, 9, what it does is it controls, it's called pause, and what it controls is a scene that will be lit with no audio. So if we have pauses in audio, then this scene will be lit. And typically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have some white light lits, you know, so in that. Uh, fader number 10, it will control the scene that will be lit by the bass notes. Um, 11 is the mid-range and 12 is the treble. Hi. All right, so we're going to talk about sound to music, or sound to light, sorry, uh, with using the Eurolight uh, console. So what it has is that these four faders are part of the sound to light system. When you press this button here, sound to light. So the first one here is called the pause fader. And what it's going to do is when the music pauses or the quiet parts in the mu music, whatever scene you uh, configure for this one will light up. This one is bass, so any of, of the bass that's coming in will uh, modify this scene. Over here, this one is the mid-range. Mid-range uh, music will modify this one, turn it off and on. And we have the treble, so any of the treble will modify this one. Now with the Behringer Council, we have an audio input in the back. This is it. It's a mono input. And what I've done with my setup here is I've got a little uh, recording console. I've got my two speakers. I've got actually the output of uh, a PC coming in as tape in. And I'm pulling the headphone output into this thing. So I'm, I'm getting sort of a audio source. Now, because my scenes are set up, I'm on bank 9, I can press my flash key and we'll see. So what I've done for the pause is I've set it up as white. So those lights up here, when the music is uh, quiet, it'll pause and we'll get some white lights going. For the bass over here, what I've done is I've got this beat, uh, uh, moving head and it's red. For middle, I've got the green ones over there. And over there is my highs in blue. So what I'll do is I'll start, uh, put it in sound to light. So now it's in sound to light. I've got my B up and we've got here. And what should happen is it should turn on. So I have to move these up into a middle position so that they're ready to go. And then we see that we have our lights on. So now no music. It's in pause mode. What I'll do is I'll bring up some music here. I've got uh, Jethro Tull, which is pretty good beat going. So that's the uh, bass. Nothing's happening here because it's, uh, it's quiet pauses. This is our mid-range. And this is this guy, and for some reason he's pointing towards the wall. Now if I turn these up, I get more intensity. If I turn off the music, the white lights come on. Pause the music. So it's pretty easy to set up uh, sound to, to light. Uh, what we can also do is we can have sound can control the stepping of the chases. So when we did uh, chases in the previous 
video. What we had is we put this into run mode, this switch here, and then it would automatically run through based on the speed and the uh, setting that we set up here. What we can do is press this again, uh, a yellow light will light up and that will do uh, sound, and now the sound from the bass channel will control the stepping. So every time there's a bass thing, it'll step through. So all we have to do is enable the sound on here, put the chase on high, and away we go. All right, one of the things you can do is you can control your chases using the sound. And what I've got here is I've got a chase already programmed. So if I go to my number, I'm on chase number three. It's got eight sequences in it, or steps. I'll bring up my chase. I'll bring up my uh, crossfade. And I'll bring up my speed a bit here. And to get the sound to work, I press this until that yellow light comes on. Or actually, it's red light, surprise. So right now, no audio. Let's see if I still got music going. And now it's sequencing through the uh, different steps in my chase. And it's all based on the bass. Oops. And the music stopped. This completes part eight of a sound to light. Uh, in part nine, we'll look at integrating MIDI with the lighting council.